Hello everyone, welcome to the WordPress Carousel Pro plugin video tutorial. WordPress Carousel Pro is the most powerful and user-friendly multi-purpose plugin to create beautiful carousels with images, posts, e-commerce product, content, videos, and mixed content. The plugin has its own image and content management system. Let's have a glimpse of a few of the demos created with the WordPress Carousel Pro plugin. You can create beautiful image, post, product, content, videos, and mixed content carousel like this using the WP Carousel Pro plugin. So far, you have shown only a few of the demos that can be achieved with the WP Carousel Pro plugin, but you can create unlimited carousels or gallery showcase simply configuring the plugin features. Let me give you a quick overview of all the plugin features one by one, then I will show you how you can create a carousel in real quick. So let's get started. Once you have installed and activated the plugin in your WordPress dashboard, you will see a menu called WP Carousel Pro. When you click on it, it will take you to this page. Here you will find all the shortcode you have created using the WP Carousel Pro plugin listed in one place. For each shortcode, you will find a title, a shortcode ID, a source type, and the date it was published. If you want to make a copy any of your existing shortcode, then simply click on the duplicate button. Now let's move on to the all important add new carousel. First type a title for it and below that you'll find several source type like image, post, or product, content, video and mixed content. Initially source type is selected as image. Click add image to select images from your media. After selecting the images, click create a new gallery. For each image you can set a caption, a description and an image link. If you want to remove an image from here, you can simply click on the cross icon from here. And most importantly, you can order the images by doing drag and drop like this. And finally, click insert gallery to use those images for your carousel. If you want to remove all those images, then simply click on the removal button. Next one is post source type. Here you can select a post type from post, pages and custom post types if you have. Filter the post by latest taxonomy and specific. Latest means all the posts will be displayed in your carousel. Select taxonomy to display post from specific category, post tag and post format. Select specific filter to choose your desired post to display in the carousel or gallery. So next one is all product source type. Filter products options are same as before. And set how many product you want to display in your carousel or gallery. And next is content source type. Here you can add any type of contents and you can add as many content as you want. There is no limitations of adding contents. So click add content and you will find a WSIWYG editor which supports almost everything like text, image, video, code, shortcut from other plugins. And below that you will find the slider background settings. You can set solid color, gradient color and most importantly if you want you can upload a background image as well. If you want to remove any item then simply click on the cross icon and hit OK. If you want to duplicate any item then simply click on the duplicate icon and you can order the items by doing drag and drop like this. Now let's see the video source type. Here you can add videos from different sources like YouTube, Vimeo, Dailymotion and self-hosted. And below that you just need to add the video ID. So let me show you a quick example how to get the video ID and insert it here. Suppose I want to add this video for the carousel, so what I have to do is copy the ID from here. This is the video ID and go to the shortcut page and insert the video ID just like this. If you want to add any description for the video, you can add it here. So this is the simple process to add video ID into your carousel or gallery. You can add videos from Vimeo, Dailymotion or Self-Hosted as well. And next one is Mixed Content Carousel. Using the mixed content source type, you can create a carousel with image, content, video and audio. You will find the related fields for those content types. I have already explained those earlier. So let's go back to the image source type. And here you will find several configuration tabs. Initially you will be in the general settings. So in the general settings, you will find a few options like layout type, carousel mode, carousel column, link type, link target order by option and preloader. 
So you can select the layout type from carousel or gallery. For each of the layout type, you'll find several settings. And there are three carousel mode available for you. First one is standard, ticker and center. Let's see how the standard, ticker and center mode looks like in the live preview section. I'm talking about the show preview button by which you can have a look at your customization in the live preview section before publishing the shortcut to a new page. When you click on this button, it will take you to the live preview section. So this is the standard mode carousel. Now let's see how the ticker mode looks like. So select ticker and update the preview and you can see this is how the ticker carousel looks like. If you want to see the center mode carousel then select center and update the preview and you can see the center mode carousel look like this. Okay, so next move on to the style settings. Here you can configure a few interesting settings like you can set the content position from bottom, top, right, left or overlay. So if I select top and update the preview, you can see the contents are showing at top. And check this box to make all the slider items to be the same height as the tallest one. Configure slider border, inner padding and slider background color from here. Show or hide the caption or description from here. And configure the image related properties. If you want you can set custom size as well. Enable or disable the variable width. It means the number of columns depends on the image width. Set a lazy load for the images. And if you want you can set zoom and image mode for the carousel items as well. So if I select grayscale and normal on hover and update the preview, you can see this is how the image mode looks like. Enable or disable the watermark image protection and image title attribute from here. So you will find the watermark related properties in the plugin settings menu. Next one is lightbox settings. There are almost 30 lightbox features. You can control everything about the lightbox from here. And next one is carousel settings. In the carousel settings, you'll find the carousel control related properties. You can set the carousel orientation from horizontal or vertical. Configure the autoplay, autoplay speed, sliding speed, pause on hover, infinite loop, carousel direction from here. If you want to make a multi row carousel, then change the value from here. Set a sliding effect from slide or fade. Configure the navigation and pagination related properties from here. Enable or disable the scheduling. When you enable the scheduling option, you can set in start and end date. And enable or disable adaptive height, touch sweep, mouse draggable and sweep to slide option. Now let's move on to the typography settings. In the typography settings, you can configure the slider section title, caption font, description font properties like font family, font style, text alignment, font size, line height, font color and etc. As I said, all the source type has its own configuration options. So let's have a look at the post source type options. When you select post source type, you'll find a few pagination options in the gallery layout type. So configure the pagination related properties from here. Then go to the style settings to configure the post related properties like post title, post content, read more button, show or hide category, date, author, tag, comment and etc. You'll find those options for font related properties in the typography settings. All the other options are same as before. Now let's move on to the product source type. Here in the general settings on layout type gallery, the pagination options are same as before. Now on the style settings, you'll find the different options like you can configure product name, product price, product description, read more, product rating star, rating alignment, add to cart button and more. Now let's go back to the image mode and publish the shortcode and copy the shortcode ID from the bottom of the page and go to a page where you want to display the shortcode. Insert the shortcode in a text, code or shortcode block and publish the page and preview it. So this is how it looks initially. So this is the lightbox feature and you'll find so many options for the lightbox in the plugin configuration tabs as I have explained before. Now let's go to the plugin settings menu. Here you can see the license activation page appears to be the first. So this is the license activation field where you need to insert the license key to activate the plugin. And below that in the advanced settings, you will find the options to enable or disable all the JS and CSS used in the plugin to run it smoothly. Next one is watermark settings. Configure the watermark related properties from here. You can set custom size for the watermarks. Those are the responsive breakpoints. If you want, you can change it as you like. 
write custom CSS and JS here to modify the plugin default styling. Next one is tools menu. Using the tools menu, you can export and import all the carousels you have created with the plugin. So that's all about the WP Carousel Pro plugin today. In the upcoming videos, I will show you how you can use all those features in the plugin to make your carousel even more attractive and meaningful. Until then, take care.